So today I want to talk about reproducible builds with MLflow as part of a CI process, which what, what do I mean is I build something, I want to share it with someone else or someone else builds something and they want to share it with me. So where we started was like, what's the idea with MLflow? I'm trying to learn it. And step one was just building an end-to-end -end ML workflow and then tracking metrics saying like, how do I actually show you what I did, where the models are, and if the models themselves are any good, oh, MLflow tracking, they've got this web app, you can see it here. This is wonderful. Now, step two, let's actually say, okay, great. I wanna use this model. I wanna reproduce the work that somebody did. How are we gonna go about this? And where I left off the other day was I said, okay, I, I can use, let's use a CIC, CICD server. Let's use somebody else's computer, somebody else's compute instance. Every time we make a change, let's clone, let's grab all the code, install the dependencies and run it just to make sure we didn't break anything. Just kind of a quick little smoke test. Just, just make sure nothing's broken. And in doing that yesterday or doing the other day with GitHub Actions, what I found was, or what I was doing was I was running the script manually. So I was saying, hey, Python, run this script. The script is using MLflow to track stuff, but I was running it with Python. This is not ideal. And one of the big reasons why is I want to be able to pass in configuration, change config, and not ask my colleagues or not have my colleagues ask me to edit code. This makes it a lot easier to share our work and to do things faster if I can just edit a configuration file, like think like a spreadsheet, versus having to dive in the code to actually make changes. So let me show you what I mean by that. I've since updated this project, and, and by the way, MLflow has an explicit feature for this. It's called MLflow Projects, if I'm getting this right. So I can say, hey, MLflow, I know I'm sorry, it's a little small, but hey, MLflow, run, here's my project. And then just to make it explicit, I'm passing in some of these configuration, uh, some of these hyperparameters, but I can set this explicitly in a config file. So when I wanna look at what's changing in the given project, if one of those things changes, I don't have to look at any code. So let's open up the last change I made where I updated a configuration file with some of those inputs, the things that I as the developer would change. I'm not saying this is the most beautiful thing in the world in GitHub, but this is much easier than looking at a bunch of code and trying to pull out changes. It's inside the config file. This parameter L1 ratio went from 0.5 as the default to 0.8. Okay, not earth shattering by any stretch, but much cleaner as a team will go much faster than if we're doing this with, again, diving into code. So I'm just getting started with the MLflow. The next step is gonna be actually serving this model as an API and figuring out how that works. But so far, I'm really excited to see the tracking is really straightforward and then building these projects so that I can reproduce, I can, I can share my work, I can reproduce it, all looks good so far.